Hello and welcome to another Let's Scream, this time with Outlast. This is the first time I will be playing this game ever. I've had it in my Steam library for years and I've never <laughs> bothered to run the game. Um, I think it's supposed to be one of the better horror games of like the last whenever, I don't know, 10 years I guess. Um, but we shall find out. So yeah, I don't know much about it. Um, all I know is that the sequel was disappointing, <laughs> apparently. Um, but yeah, let's I guess give it a go. I think the options are okay. Uh, I don't know what Southpaw is, but I guess I'll leave it as the default. Graphics are on high, hopefully that's okay. Everything should be dandy. Let's click new game. Oh shit. Well, I do appreciate difficulties that aren't, uh, <laughs> don't have easy, but at the same time, I wonder, how can you make four difficulties that much different? Let's pick, I want to go Nightmare, I guess let's pick Nightmare. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphics, sexual content, okay, and strong language, please enjoy. <laughs> You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Mount Massive Asylum. Right, it's not Mount Massive Asylum. <laughs> Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive Mount Massive, sorry, and expose the truth, your only choice are, is, to run, hide, or your only choices, sorry, are to run, hide, or die. Okay. Record stuff. I am recording. Recording every frame. Creepy old house there. The mouse sensitivity is too high. <laughs> Can I change? Yes. I, th I was hoping it wouldn't. <clears throat> Skip. Um, I put it up because usually mouse sensitivity is way too low. But it feels pretty, pretty quick. There it is. It's like, is there no anti-aliasing? My head does like. I mean, I've broken my neck and I'm in one of those like. neck cast things. Glowing file. That's creepy. September the 17th, 2013. MuteMail.com. I think that's a fake email. Subject tip slash illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me, you have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand that. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Okay. Exposed on YouTube. Grab the camera. At least it's got a light attached to it. Bet we're gonna churn. There wasn't even a battery on the back of that thing, was there? Imagine having a camera. You'd have to hold the camera like literally against your eyeball. 
to cover your vision. Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook tab, containing your notes, N, and picked up documents, J. Oh, right. So you can just skip this, this menu for some reason. Close the gates. Hey, I've got a body. And what a body it is. Oh, yeah. I feel like I am a camera on sitting on top of his head or something, or I maybe have a really long neck, but. Oh, these. So, Q and A are like. Look. Oh, there's a jump button? <laughs> That is a hell of a crouch. <laughs> How do I use? Wait a minute. What is this? How do I record? Oh, I am always recording, am I? When I'm... What the fuck? There's a zoom. Bush. A man shaped bush. How do I. I guess I can't use that, but I don't know. I don't know what the use button is. Left click, maybe, but didn't do anything, so. Let's see. Open a door quickly. Press left mouse button to open a door slowly. Hold down left mouse button and move forward or backwards. To raise your camcorder, press the right mouse button. Well, hang on. What event recorded? I think I know. Wait, what event? I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> Notes only added to your notebook when your camcorder is raised to record it. Okay. Light went out. Oop, the big truck. I don't know how much I should do this, but have a look around. <laughs> oh, I can go this way because there's padlocks everywhere. As there is this door. Wait a minute, I have batteries. Oh, I don't have to hold right mouse button, that's good. Because <laughs> I thought I did. How do you, like, do that night vision shit? Whoa. I think it's enough of that shit. Unless we want to record this. I don't really know what the... Like... Goal is of this camera thing, so I don't really know how much I should try and do it, but... Seriously. What, the door's not open for me? Oh, well, then. Mount Massive Asylum. It is a pretty big asylum. I will agree with that. Let's crouch, hold down left control. Let's do it. Should I be filming this bit though? Because it's like I'm filming my own criminal behavior. Is that <laughs> bad? With the camera active, you can zoom in and out with the mouse scroll. I've already done that several times. Thank you for telling me. Hey, a ladder. I go up here. Zoom. 
assume I do, given the music has started. Wow, there's actually going to be platforming in this game? It's a horror platformer! That is a genre combination that... I'm sure has somewhat existed, but... I don't know how you'd make it genuinely. I just wanted to jump. God damn it. Activate night vision on your camcorder, press F. Okay, note that the night vision uses battery life. Oh, it uses battery life really damn quick. Okay, that's a little bit confusing. <laughs> Which direction to press to open and close, but... Oh, so you only use camera... You only use camera... You only use battery when you're in night vision. Guess? the hell is this? Someone shot this place up. It's like, uh... Well, it reminds me of that corridor in Silent Hill 2 with the... <laughs> with the, uh... Metal Gate. Where you first see Pyramid Head, I think. Good God, that scared me. <laughs> Why was I standing on the sofa? <laughs> Just walk. That's some surround sound speakers right there. Okay, I won't stare at that. It kind of hurts my eyes. Press or hold left mouse. Do I have to keep telling me that? Is it going to stop at some point? A215. What's this? Skinner and Beyond. The science of faith. Right. Okay, let's go on. A to squeeze through. Why is that a tutorial? To squeeze through. Walk forward, continue doing what you're already doing. Teamwork. Team player award, Patrick. Blah, blah, blah. Patrick, bloody blur. Okay. Bzz, bzz. Is that. Oh, they're just chips, they're not bullet holes. <laughs> Is what I suspected. Ah, yes, the. Whose hand is this? Is that my hand? Kind of interesting that that happens. Oh, yeah, because I got peek and stuff. Oh, no. Terrifying. <laughs> um, events are about to unfold. Press left mouse and pick up document. Okay. J. Murkoff. <laughs> what a Murkoff. Murkoff Psych Psychiatric Systems Proje Project Wall Rider. Mount Massive Co. Case number 174. Patient initials WPH Billy. Blah 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 blah. Dr. Carl Houston. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed at self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry. Revealed no bronchial accumulation. 
hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate. Erythro erythro erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. I'd be worried if my erythrocytes weren't separated. MRI revealed arrhythmic arrhythmic uh, uh, REM N REM cycle. Laughter in M REM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the state of his mother's lawsuit against Merkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. No, the only Traeger on company records. Uh, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. And to be fair, that's a pretty rare name. <laughs> um, uh, unless they're saying, like, he must have told him. I guess that's what they're saying. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff, security, blah, 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 blah. Close. Can't use any of these computers. Stop, what's that? Oh, it's the computer button. I. Still don't know what that is, but <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. So let's leave. Let's get the hat on the hat. Oh, I like the dynamic uh, hand thing there. There are our footsteps. There's someone in the toilets. You bastard. I needed a piss. At some point, I'm going to get terrified enough to close doors behind me. That's when you know you're in a half-decent horror game. Although I may have done that in uh, less good horror games that we've played as well, so <laughs> let's not be hasty. Uh, what's through here? Now it's probably locked. Okay. Well then, let's just <laughs> slam that door shut. Need to be careful because that's a pretty heavy slam. To reach the event, jump with spacebar. Did he just like jump and just simultaneously put down the camera and grab onto the thing? That's like. Well, remarkable, remarkable physical prowess of this journalist. Ooh. It's like an interview room. Also, <laughs> the steady hand of this camera, man. What just happened? Somewhere in there. There a man in there or something? Oh. We've got a lunatic in the asylum. Actually, you know one thing I didn't even notice is all this crap used to block the way. <laughs> like, it's kind of funny how stuff like that is so normal in horror games. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I guess it means that someone was trying to block the corridor to protect themselves, or I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> okay. I want to see how much my camera uh, shaked then. Did my character scream? <laughs> like, what was that sound? <laughs> Can I investigate the body or like... Jesus. At least they modelled the throat, eh? Hey okay, then. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm running out of battery already. This is the shittest... 
camera ever. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um are you on a spike? Do they killed us? They got out. The very you can't fight them. You have to hide. Can unlock the big doors. From security control. Alright, chess. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible. I guess I'll reload the batteries. Was he like a soldier then? That's a bit... Not the kind of... Okay. How do I open this? Inwards. What the fuck? Wasn't the kind of... Thing I was expecting to see like a soldier or something. It's very like... Resident Evil. <laughs> ah yes, another toilet. Glad they've... Do I want to go in here? Oh, man. That would be painful to get that out of your system. Ah, uh, I have no reflection. I am the vampire. Blood on my shoes now. Gross. Man, it is really dark <laughs> without the night vision. Oh god. I guess security would be down there, right? At the desk? Do I have to check both handles or like does would it automatically open the right what door? I don't know. I don't know. To pass through, keep walking. Little thing. What the fuck? Ow. Broken neck. I had like no lips. And who are you then? Just a man with a camera. I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Oh god. Really the cheesy religious stuff. <laughs> There's certain cheesy language <laughs> surrounding religion that you just probably should avoid at this point because it's been used a lot new objective escape the asylum access security control I just got in we got me to leave already all right notes I'm inside now we need to get out <laughs> when did I write this stuff down <laughs> I'm inside, bodies everywhere, blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Wait, I didn't see that. Did I? Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the city. Wait, they were scientists? <laughs> How does he know so much? Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. I didn't even write, like. <laughs> Murkoff, long time. MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? I mean, I assume there are lots of private, like, asylums and stuff, so <laughs> maybe they're just a normal um, mental health uh, place. There's some kind of tactical cop pinned, like, tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Uh, tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Ugh, what a dick. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Okay, so he's moaning about some guy dying too soon. 
Oh, just at the wrong time. I started feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of charitable organization. Of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer that lo than lost sig signal. Uh, the Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place as to be big might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Hell yeah. This is a really weird thing though, when your char character knows it a lot more than you do and it seems like a lot of information is going to be delivered like this, almost like retroactively, but actually shown in the game, which is kind of... Interesting, I guess. See how that plays out. Oh look, a guy shat himself. And his organs came out everywhere. Oh god. There's, there are bodies everywhere. He was right. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> In my notes. Uh... I assume I just can't even interact with it. Good lord. This is a this is a, a very locked door. Can't even So there's corridors down there. I wonder how this saving system works. Like I, it feels like a game that might have um auto saves. Press yeah, I know, I know. Although I had forgotten. <laughs> I did press E. Uh, N, I think, right? No. I'll just press tab because I'm never going to remember that. Okay. Warrant for seizure. Uh, seizure of Mount Massive Social Rights Center. Merc, blah, blah, blah. Um, affidavit, uh, affidavits. What the hell is that? Having been made before the board directors by Murkoff Hardline Security who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination cool so I guess we have a virus thing we are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence I see that word and I'm like can I just not read right now, or like, because <laughs> it feels like it should be a word I understand, but I don't think it exists. To require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant, you are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. What's MHS? Again? Murkoff Hardline Security. Yes, but then if this is a Murkoff facility, why wouldn't they, like, you know, why can't they just get it? By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Is that like a legal thing? You can't just say by accepting this document, because that means that someone agreed to something without even being able to read it first. Um... Surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for actions of MHS or the circumstances which are regardless of responsibility. Ready? Couldn't cram that onto one page. Okay. So they're investigating themselves. They're really like, they've already thrown in so many cliches. Like, I don't want to be too critical, but like. So there's some kind of contamination. There's super cop soldiers, people, who tried to get in. There's craziness, dreams, dream states, like Nightmare on Elm Street level stuff. They're hitting everything. Oof, that is a broken arm. Although, actually, maybe not, because your arm does actually bend that way. I guess. Will this wheel itself down the stairs? 
Will I get thrown in the chair and wheeled down the stairs? Probably. That's... That guy is... alive. This breathing animation, holy shit. I wonder if the game's gonna detect when I look at stuff. I assume it will as well, which is kind of cool. It's like you'll, you know, like if I look at something and zoom in, I guess the game will know and show me stuff I wouldn't otherwise be able to see. I don't know where to go, but I like that this is open. This is pretty cool. Uh, I think it's blocked, is it? Wait, there's a desk there with a computer on it. They blocked the door and then proceeded to do office work. I'm going to go down this corridor because I feel like I shouldn't. Off. <laughs> okay, another fucking toilet. At least there's no hand in this. Is that? Battery. Hey! Maybe I should have gone in here then. I need to get out before I use up a battery. It's worth just fumbling around in the darkness. So I was rewarded for exploration. That's nice. Down here. Gonna wake up. Ah, uh, can I pick it up? They're all in the same position. Wait. Is he spying on me? What's that sound? Not the bleeping, obviously. I mean, the <laughs> there's like a buzzing. Is it when it's low? Yeah, it's when it's low. What's the WT as well? Do I have to press that? No. WT. Oh, zoom, 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 zoom. Wide, tight. That's not what you call it, though. Is that what that means? WT. Hey! Hey! Look like a guy from Red Faction. Yes. Is it gonna tell me every fucking door? I guess I'll change batteries then. There's not even <laughs> there's not even one on the back of there. There's space for one though, but Oh. Did I just write something down? Witness. Witness me. What is it with people dead on toilets? <laughs> I guess it's everyone's nightmare, to be fair. There's another hand in here. Is that the other guy's arm? Like, maybe people are trying to climb up through the toilets? Is that what's happening? Hang on, let's read that note then. Where is it? The Witness. I'm already beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs. God, what is with the grammar? I know you're shitting yourself, but come on. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. I don't know what that even means. <laughs> he throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. Really? How would you infer that? I didn't think that. This is really, this is weird storytelling. Like... Where's he getting this shit from? When did he have time to think all through this? Like, what I witnessed 
did not make me think <laughs> about this shit. Like, he didn't pull anything out of his scalp. What the fuck? That would have been cool if he had, but... This is really weird storytelling. I feel like I should avoid the notes. Because it doesn't really follow. I am, son. You are... Uh, a lot of blood. Good lord, man. Hey, battery. Oh, I can't even tell when I've got the camera on. Not happy about the door closing. Yep. Who closed the door on me? Come out and show yourself. I ain't scared of nobody. But that man. This door needs a key card. Cool. I found security. But I didn't find safety. Is that another phone bleeping? Who is leaving the phones off the hook? You need to take calls. Alright. Keep a close eye on that door. Keep one eye on the door and one eye on this document. Helen Granite. <laughs> Granata! Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wallrider remains staggeringly high. Four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Uh, okay. Project Wallrider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Profit, 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 profit. Um, okay. Morphogenic engine therapy. I guess they're doing something with dreams to like brainwash people into being what? Super soldiers? Where are all these super soldiers used? Like, it's such a. I mean, I'm not. Obviously, that might not be the story, <laughs> but like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's weird. It looks very unnatural. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot. That's gonna be the thumbnail. I love it. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, handsome devil, you. Um, two doors to an office. I love it. My kind of office. But yeah, I know in these stories when it's like, you know, hey, Resident Evil, we're making super soldiers. Who the fuck is using these? Like, what real world scenario is it supposed to be relatable to? <laughs> you know, it's a bit weird. Damn it. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. Uh, are you going to open the door in there, buddy? You want to be on camera? Wait, I didn't get a keycard though. Guess that's okay. Oh, wait, he's not sitting on anything, he's sitting on air. That is remarkable ability. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the door's not open, it just 
appears. There's the pop in of the door. Wait till this chair appears. Dunk. There it is. Very nice. That, like, do I just record everything? Like, it's a bit weird, this mechanic. I'm not sure. Well, you don't have to. It's like the guy from uh, Total Recall. <laughs> Hide? Why would I ever need to hide?